Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I do want to speak about Nico Williams and the possible transfer of him going to FC Barcelona. Finally, we do have some news because after so many months, after so many weeks, we have not heard anything regarding Nico Williams and we slowly started to give up on the player. But now we do have some great news. And it says here, according to 20 Juan Marty, that Nico Williams is open to joining Barcelona, but he isn't desperate on leaving Athletic Bilbao. Sport also says Nico Williams is Xavi's favorite to sign this summer as a new left winger and let me tell you guys barcelona must go all in to sign nico williams if there was one left winger that we should be signing in the summer it is him like i know that we have been talking about silva Cavara, nico williams we have talked about a multitude of players to reinforce the left wing position because we know that you know rafinha is a great player we know that he can provide provide a lot of goals a lot of assists but we do need a backup yes we have joao felix but we do need that pacey type of left winger somebody who has a lot of speed can bring a lot of assist much more of a player that can hug the touchline so barcelona have to go all in keep in mind that nico williams also plays for a ex barcelona coach which is ernesto valverde ernesto valverde used to coach fc barcelona and right now he is coaching nico williams at athletic bilbao now i'm pretty sure that maybe he could give out a few words to nico williams i don't necessarily think that he's going to he's going to be saying yes you should go to barcelona you should leave this club he's not going to be saying that because at the end of the day he is the coach of athletic club and he's only looking for the best interest of of Athletic Club, aka Bilbao. But I believe that Ernesto Valverde is going to be saying, you know, the choice is going to be yours. I would love to have you here. I think that you are an amazing player. You will grow at Bilbao. I'm always going to take care of you. But if you want to go to FC Barcelona and if the chance is there, again, it is your choice because a football career is very short. I can see Ernesto Valverde say something like that because he is a gentleman. He is somebody who respects the players a lot. And so to me, I do see this transfer very open. Now, if you guys are also new here and you guys do not know who Nico Williams is, and you guys want to get a refresher on what type of profile we are talking about, I'm going to be summarizing it right here. So like I have said, he is a left winger, somebody who plays within the front three for Bilbao. He is considered as a key player alongside with his brother, Inaki Williams. So they have been playing together for the past four to five years. He is very well known for his speed, his ability to dribble, his flair. He can score a lot of goals. He also does represent the Spanish national team and he made his debut within the first team of the Spanish national team back in September 2022 so he knows a lot of the players within Spain and a lot, a lot of the players within Spain do play for Barcelona so if Nico Williams comes to Barcelona he'll say I, I know how to play with Gavi I know how to play with Pedri I know how to play with La Minha Mal I'm best friends with the majority of these players even Balde, Cubarsi it's going to be a lot of fun he also made his debut with Athletic Bilbao back in 2021 that was not too long ago 2021 was a year where Barcelona were barely appointing Xavi Hernandez so his skin in the game within the first division is really not a lot but Nico Williams has been progressing so much. So he is a player that likes to use his speed, his dribbling, mainly because he's so young, right? He uses those type of things to, to get out away from the defenders. And he provides so many crosses. He takes a lot of shots. He likes to cut in and shoot the ball with his right foot. He's also really good at creating team plays, combining well with his teammates. He always offers support for his players. Right now in this season, when you combine the top five best leagues in the world, Nico Williams is in eighth place when it comes to assist with a total of 10. When it comes to crosses, into the penalty area within La Liga, Nico Williams ranks in third with a total of 22. In terms of shot creating actions in La Liga, he is in fifth place with a total of 114 shot creating actions. When it comes to goal creating actions in La Liga, he is ranked in first with a total of 23. And then in successful take-ons, when you combine the top five leagues in the world, he's ranked in 10th place with a total of 80. So Nico Williams has great stats out here. Like he's amazing, but he's not the most perfect player. He still has some things that he has to improve on like for example i would say that yes he's very well rounded he gives goals he gives assists he's a master on 1v1s but i do think that he needs to add more i would say ideas into how he does take on players like different type of offensive strategies because sometimes he does come off as too one-dimensional i would say like he's really good at that one thing that he is good at which is to like go all the way down the field and then make it last minute cross but like sometimes that's not always going to work again he's very one-dimensional sometimes he can choose to like cut inside try to look for a shot but 90% of the time he is producing the exact same play over and over again and I believe that that is where Xavi Hernandez can come in and really fix this one dimensional winger and make him become a much more dynamic winger and Nestor Valverde has already been trying to help him on becoming much more dynamic and more versatile but I believe that if he goes to Xavi Hernandez he can really change his game look at how Xavi Hernandez changed Rafinha Rafinha was very one dimensional when he first came to Barcelona all he knew what to do was to like get the ball and then run down 
down the field and make a last minute cross, right? To just make a straight line run down the field. And that was basically it. Dembele, it was the exact same thing. He got the ball, he runs down the field, makes it a straight run, and that was basically it. But then Xavi Hernandez, once he got a good amount of time with these players, he evolved them and made and made them much more different, more dynamic. He taught Dembele how to be much more creative when he cut inside and how to find key passes. Rafinha, again, the same thing. Like he's like, okay, I'm gonna need you to cut inside, maybe create, maybe provide some key passes. I'm also going to give you some ideas on how to run behind the defense, etc. And so with Xavi, if you give him time with Nico Williams, he can turn him into a complete monster. Xavi Hernandez is really good at adding more skill sets to certain players. Like for example, with even Gavi, Gavi was never once used as a CDM, but then Xavi decided to use him as a CDM, and now he's he's great as a CDM. He knows how to always be free, right? To become the, becoming that free man for his teammates. He knows how to anticipate for the ball, and he knows how to find open players. It's really fascinating. Now, in terms of the further details on where Barcelona's at regarding the left wing position, Ferran Correas continues to say that Xavi wants Barcelona to sign at least two out of these three players: Dani Olmo, Nico Williams, and Cavara, who currently does play in Napoli. I would love, dude, like I would really love for Cavara to come to Barcelona, but he cost 80 million euros. That is very expensive. 80 million euros, really? Dani Olmo, I would say, costs around 60 million euros, and then Nico Williams is going to be costing around 45 to 50 million euros. That is almost the total amount of what Cavara himself is going to be costing. Do I believe that it could be worth it if we bring in Cavara? Yes, but like if if you bring him in for 80 million euros, I don't see us signing like any other player to reinforce the left wing position. If this is actually true, like if we want to sign two out of these three players, I, I think that if we go for Cavara, Olmo nor Nico Williams is going to be signed, like for sure. But Cavada's stats are impressive. Like he has 10 goals and nine assists as a left winger so far. In the previous season, he had 14 goals, 14 assists for Napoli. So I would really welcome his signing, but it makes much more sense financially to bring in Daniel Olmo and Nico Williams. You may call this racist. You may call this favoritism because Daniel Olmo and Nico Williams are both from Spain, but believe what you want to believe. Ferran Martinez also wanted to state that Barcelona's interest in Daniel Olmo and Nico Williams is very strong. Barcelona feels both will fit in perfectly. There has been multiple clubs that have been following Nico Williams since months and is really admired by the coaching staff, though Bilbao won't make it easy and will refer to making a full payment of 50 million euros. As for Dani Olmo, he has many supporters like Deco and Xavi within the club. There is consensus for his signing. His price is 60 million euros, but Barcelona may get facilities in the payment because of the player's desire to come. So I would be really happy if Dani Olmo and Nico Williams comes in, but like I've said, and I'm gonna, I'm going to continue to say this, and I hope that Barcelona like really do listen here because it's really important. And I think that Barcelona do have their priorities straight. I'm just, I just want to put it out there just to make sure that everything, you know, everything's on the same page. We have to prioritize signing a pivot first. I don't even want to think about signing Silva, Nico Williams, and Olmo. Like, I don't want to think about that as be, because we need to fix the pivot position first. Because the last thing that I want to do and the last thing I want to hear Barcelona like do out there in the transfer market is that they sign Nico Williams and Silva or Dani Olmo and Silva or Nico Williams and Olmo. But then they say, okay, we signed these players, but we found out that we couldn't reach any deals for a pivot. And now we have to go out there like to Elche and sign some random CDM. I don't want to do that. The pivot comes first. Now, in terms of like how we're going to be signing these players like Silva, Nico Williams, Dani Olmo, I know that it seems very fantasy for us to like even talk about this because apparently a lot of the comments here, a lot of the people here that watch this channel are actually the accountants of FC Barcelona. Like apparently they have inside information. I don't know. But in terms of what we have been hearing so far, in terms of news, sport have claimed that Xavi would be open to selling Frankie de Jong if that could mean the arrival of Silva. Now, let me tell you guys, I have already said multiple times that if we have to sell Frankie to sign two new players, I would do that. Because let me tell you, letting go of Frankie would allow us to bring in Silva plus another player, which is Nico Williams or Dani Olmo. Frankie de Jong himself cost around 95 to 100 million euros. I do believe that United can come in and bring that type of money to the table for Frankie de Jong, because I know that they have been wanting Frankie for a very long time, especially with Ten Hag. And Frankie de Jong is a quality player. But like I've said, Barcelona have progressed in terms of where they were before and where they are now. And right now, they do need a different player. Frankie de Jong leaving for 95 to 100 million euros will for sure help Barcelona in the transfer market. And especially, right, because in the next season, Barcelona are going to have to commit to paying Frankie de Jong 37 million euros gross. Do you know how much money that is? 37 million euros? We get, like, if we let go of that money and we say, okay, we have freed up 37 million euros within our wage bill, we can welcome two to three players. Like, isn't that crazy? Like, I know that it kind of hurts people to say like, oh yeah, we have to let go of Frankie. It, it even does hurt me because for me, Frankie is like a player that I saw that 
that that could stay with us until like 2035. Like he is one of our captains, by the way. We're talking about letting go of one of our captains. It hurts to say this, but like we have to put Barcelona first before we before anything else. And I'm sorry. Like this is not Frankie De Jong FC. This is FC Barcelona. And so if we have to let go of Frankie to welcome reinforcements and to make our team better, then we're gonna have to do what we have to do. Now Moises Llorens has stated that Frankie De Jong only wants to stay at Barcelona, and the coaching staff would like to see that too. The player is very happy with his partner in the city and has no intentions of leaving. Now, we'll see what happens in the summer. I know that Frankie is going to make a fight to stay at Barcelona. I mean, we'll see. But again, if Frankie leaves, I would strongly believe that it will be better for Barcelona for this summer. It's, it's going to be best for all parties. Keep in mind that our sources of income, not it's not going to just rely on Frankie de Jong. We have to remember that we have a deal with Nike that will be announced very soon within the coming days. Nike is going to be injecting Barcelona 110 million euros this summer as a bonus. And then from there, every year, we're going to be gaining 120 million euros only because it is a Nike Barcelona deal because of this short deal that we're doing. This will for sure help Barcelona go back to the one-on-one -on -one rule. I'm surprised that not many of the Barcelona accountants that do comment here do not even know about the, this Nike deal because many were questioning, we Barcelona have no money. We're not going to be having any money. I thought you guys should be knowing. You guys seem like you guys know what you guys are talking about. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's video. I hope that Nico Williams does get signed. But again, pi the pivot is the priority. Most likely, it is going to be Joshua Kimmich. There has been so many talks about Kimmich going to the club. And if we can get Kimmich and Nico Williams for this summer transfer window, Barcelona are going to be miles ahead better. And I just cannot wait for that moment. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.